happy Thanksgiving. I'm hearing brain to brain that we had to put Donald Trump in jail for a short bit because he was opposing me as the full American Empress, even though I agree with about 80% of his policies. The reason I told my men to give me full Empress powers and to override Trump is because Lori McBride and her dem cucks have his hands tied and have got him cornered so that he was almost totally intimidated and frozen into not carrying out many of his policies, like enforcing the border, going after big tech for antitrust, and trying to start wars with countries like Russia, who should be our allies. <clears throat> Here that he's apologized and will not interfere with me as the full empress anymore. However, my men are telling me brain to brain that the news media is lying to you. What's new? Lori has taken over Hollywood, which explains the disastrous poor quality movies and productions coming from the Hollywood cesspool 2016 to now. She even has the gall to cancel those that do bring in money like Roseanne Barr, for instance, because she has to meticulously maintain her propaganda machine, which she runs like a well-oiled machine, ensure, ensuring that propaganda comes out of Hollywood nonstop to ensure her worldwide reign remains unchallenged. However, she loves her money. And since she's incapable of producing anything but low quality propaganda, she has to steal the proceeds from quality Hollywood productions like my Silver Skies movies to cushion her already lavish Hollywood lifestyle. Because anything she produces loses money. In other words, it costs more to make it than it can recoup through earnings. But because she controls Hollywood, the garbage stays in production to create the illusion that her low quality propaganda is a hit. She actually pays people to watch her programs and go to her movies. But the programs are so boring, even that doesn't work. She was born to steal and live high on the hog and will kill, defame, and lie about anybody who gets in her way. Just about all the men on my marriage list, many of whom are Hollywood celebrities, live middle to lower class right now due to the fact that Lori's clone army has stolen their Hollywood proceeds to live high on the hog at the expense of the real celebrity, Matthew McConaughey, Gerard Butler, Hugh Jackman, Brett Spiner, etc., have to deal with working hard on their productions only to have their evil clone steal all the money and the fame. Fortunately for them, they don't do their work for the money, so they still remain happy. But I'm sure they don't like it that their clones make them appear to be much less than the masculine, red-blooded, and heroic males that they are. I understand their predicament and have never been one who gives a flip about fame or money. Regarding Ivanka Trump's email account, or Hillary Clinton's for that matter, since we have mind and emotion reading technology, this is all cooked up nonsense to go after our enemies. The real issue is loyalty to me as the Empress. Hillary's guilty of treason because she's BFF with Lori McBride, which has nothing to do with her emails. And we have evidence for this that has nothing to do with email servers. I do believe that Lori used an Ivanka clone to create the email scandal around Ivanka to take out Trump. Lori, I'm referring to Lori McBride, Lori hopes by taking out Trump, she can then have her lies go 100% mainstream using a damn cuck to promote her lies, 100%. When this happens, I and my laws won't matter, she feels, because everybody would be so caught up in her lies, they'd just write me off and my laws as crazy. Her strategy is to make it that my laws are not enforced because they won't be reported on and my rule as empress won't be reported on. That's why she's trying to take away our freedom and our freedom of speech and she's stealing the elections. But like I said, the email issue is a non-issue. The issue is loyalty to me as the American empress. With mind-reading technology, of course, the news does not report this. You, we don't need to worry about emails, because we already know it from reading your mind. The real Ivanka supports me. The clone Ivanka does not. So just go after the clone, and all the rest of this garbage doesn't matter. 
like Lori's murdered about 15,000 of my Twitter followers, and none of this is covered by mainstream news. When she can't get a following, she just murders those who don't like her. They are trying to make it appear that after I assume, that after I assumed full empress power several days ago, that I'm not really the full empress and nothing has changed. For instance, with Saudi Arabia, we've actually executed those in Saudi Arabia behind the murder of the journalist. So the news reporting that Trump is complicit with Saudi Arabia is a bunch of lying crap. From what I understand, it was not the Saudi royals behind the murder, but clones of the Saudi royals behind the murder, and those clones have been executed. These Saudi royals work with Lori McBride to use Saudi Arabia as an instrument to cause division inside the U.S. and the Middle East in order to promote wars that serve Lori's interests. Lori is furious that we're executing her clones and removing her grip on power in Saudi Arabia. The real Saudi royals have been in hiding for years and we found them. Lori is furious. Saudi Arabia has a real clone problem with their royals and has had this problem since about 2001. I suspect that not all Twitter posts are coming from the real Donald Trump, but perhaps his clone evil automaton or just plain impersonators. It's also possible that the Trump we're seeing on television is not the real Donald Trump too, especially in regard to Saudi Arabia. Twitter is highly unreliable as a source of information now. Though we are breaking up big tech, this won't happen overnight because we're dealing with clone versions of the internet and it's hard to keep track of them all without taking down the entire internet. All I have to say is news from most internet sources and mainstream news is highly unreliable due to clones, impersonations, and outright lies. Mainstream Fox is not much better than CNN, MSNBC, etc., and daytime Fox News, Shepard Smith, for instance, has gone to the dogs. Though Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, and Laura Ingraham, Laura Ingraham are more reliable than most out there. My favorite mainstream journalist is Tucker Carlson. But to get the real news, you need to watch Gabriel Chana Fox News at zero zero on cable. And uh, I hear that there's a divorce between Gabriel Chana Fox News zero zero on cable and mainstream Fox, with Lori very much in control of mainstream Fox News. Tucker Carlson still survives on mainstream Fox because those shows that support Lori always have low ratings and greed is the bottom line with all of Lori's followers. But mainstream Fox seems to have Lori's heart now, so don't rely on them for honest reporting. And when you listen to Tucker, know that many at Fox don't like him, but he's bringing in the dough, so he stays, for now at least. Alex Jones is pretty reliable too, but then he's not mainstream. There's so much lying on mainstream news, you can't trust much of what you're hearing. It's all smoke and mirrors. Like the real Jim Carrey died in 2012. So all news about Jim Carrey is about his clone. We've had a clone epidemic, which of course is never covered in the news. So this tells you how reliable the news is. There's a lot of news that Facebook is in trouble. I hear this is fairly accurate but that Facebook is starting to come round and my men are working with Facebook to try and save Facebook and ensure they comply with my conspiracy law. They inform me brain to brain that Facebook will be saved and we can eliminate Lori McBride influence over Facebook. For this reason, Lori now wants Facebook to fall as a message to the other big tech leaders that if they won't be her cuck, they'll suffer Facebook's fate. Not sure how my men are dealing with Twitter and some of the other big tech giants. Lori has deep penetrations into, into all of this, so it's rather complicated. A lot of Dems like me as their leader, and I have more support, support from both parties than Trump ever had. The corruption in the government is in the deep state of both parties, though because Lori leads the Dems, they are currently more corrupt than the Republicans. However, the Republican Party has deep state corruption in its military industrial complex and we have to weed out the corrupt generals who are too eager to get us into a war with our ally Russia. Lori is behind the fires in California and we're taking strong measures against her and her followers. 
Those who support her and her murders are getting the death penalty. She stole on the 2018 midterms, but about half of the Democratic House members have been removed from office and replaced, we hope, with good automatons. You see, they were Lori McBride Jesuits, and no Lori McBride Jesuit can hold political office. It's death penalty under my administration to do so, and I've instructed my man to use our military to ensure my law is enforced. A big problem we've, we've had is that Lori uses death threats on politicians and celebrities to get their cooperation. This is absolutely not tolerated in my administration. We're meeting up the death penalty to these extortioners and giving them a strong message that this will not work. Lori threatened to murder Melania Trump if Don Donald wouldn't cooperate. And this is why he betrayed me and why I had to fire him and take over 100%. He actually feels a bit safer now that I'm in charge 100%. But Lori knows how to get cooperation with her death threats. It's death penalty to be a willing and knowing Lori McBride Jesuit, and she will not win. We are taking out her supporters. She will not rule by murder. Just don't believe most of what you hear in the news. It's a bunch of lying crap designed to make me appear crazy and make Lori's lies appear true. We're making progress, but some of it is slow because Lori and her deep state are very entrenched and Trump was all talk and no do for most of his reign because of Lori's death threats on Melania. I had to fire him for this reason. Good news is lots of Dems like me, so I should get better results than Donald. But you won't hear about these results on the news unless you watch Gabriel Chana Fox News at zero zero on cable. Keep praying for me and my men. I've assigned Vladimir Putin to be the American president, who will work beside me to try and keep America safe and free. I'm not angry at Trump, I understand. At least he supports me most of the time. If Clinton was in, I'd be dealing with someone who opposes me totally all the time. Glad we got Trump instead of Clinton. Our relationship with the nation of Israel is complicated due to Lori's takeover of Israel in 2017 and her army of Jew clones who are impersonating real Jews and making the Jews serve her and oppose me as world leader. Because I'm literally King David, we are hoping to retake Israel and oust Lori's rule over it. So unfortunately, most of the news you hear that lots of Jews have turned treacherous is correct. Thanks to Lori. Unfortunately, Jews have a tendency to be greedy, and this is a vice that Lori also shares. She knows how to financially reward those who support her. Lori reigns by bribery and murder but some very orthodox Jews appreciate my King David genes, and I'm hoping that over the course of the next year, we can remove Lori's influence from the Jewish nation. As a writer, and one who specializes in character, I perceive that Lori, while feigning superiority, has a deep subconscious inferiority complex about being a clone. This is why we can't kill her. If we execute her, her clone pops up the next minute. She also has Antichrist powers, which probably won't go away until she loses her following. The Antichrist cannot be killed because he or she needs to exist to fulfill biblical prophecy. You see, it's fairly well known that clones are created from fallen angel DNA, and Lori knows Jesus disapproves of the creation of clones, even though some of them will go to heaven, because some of them are getting right with God. He allows their existence because he has given Satan and men free will. Satan basically created clones. Clones are human and have a soul. But Lori has always been a clone. There has never been a prime version of Lori. She's always been a clone. So she tells herself that she's superior to everybody because she's a clone and knows that fellow clones have her evil fallen angel heart. So she's created a massive clone army and plans to destroy us primes, most those of us who aren't clones, and to establish her superiority and reign over humanity by crushing those who oppose clones or expose them as evil. The news is all smoke and mirrors because clones are not reported on and they are the most important issue of our times right now. I am the only world leader who's dealing with the clones. Lori wins because Lori always has a clone ready to destroy an enemy. She tells the Fox News people that if they don't report the news like she wants, she'll kill them and replace them with their clone. 